Hello everyone. Yesterday, after the US market closing, US Fed released their last FOMC meeting, which was held on 12th June. So, in this video, we'll discuss about those details. Then, we will cover our regular pre market report for today, 4th July 2024, for the new stock market in terms of Nifty and Bank Nifty. So, let's get started. We can summarize the whole meeting minutes into four main takeaways. First of all, almost all the members agreed that the US economic activity is slowing down and they believe the current interest rate of 5.25 to 5.5% are strong and restrictive enough to prevent any further increase in inflation. This was the most straightforward positive statement from the meeting. Other comments were more of a mixed one. Here is an actual snip from the meeting minutes. Some participants mentioned that the amount of downside economic risk is very much sharper than anticipated which includes strong decline in demand and worsening labor market conditions etc. On the other hand, though some members agreed and acknowledged the slowing demand, but they said they want to maintain this higher interest rate for a longer period to tamper both economy and inflation. In simple terms, what they were saying was, even though there are costs to the economy, they want to use it to lower the inflation to below 2% target as up. Additionally, some members even mentioned that they would consider raising the interest rate in the future if inflation starts to rise again. Overall, the consensus was to keep the interest rate the same as they were in May. Here, please note, some members already started to support the idea of interest rate cut and some members were strongly against it. So, we can conclude this meeting minutes is leaning slightly towards dovish but not significantly. That's the summary of the FOMC meeting minutes. Then, moving to US market, before its opening, private payroll company ADP released the non-form jobs addition data for June month, which was about 1 lakh 50,000. In comparison, it was 13,000 lower than what analysts expected and 7,000 less than the jobs added in May month. In addition, the number of new weekly jobless insurance claims data increased by 4,000, all suggesting the labor market is not good as it was 2-3 months ago. As a result, as per Fed monitoring tool, the probability of an interest rate cut in September month increased to over 70% from Tuesday night's 64%. Consequently, both S&P 500 and Dow Jones reached another day new all-time high value. Anyway, in the end, Dow Jones closed flat while S&P 500 was up by 0.51% and Nasdaq increased by 0.88%. In case of UX Wix, it's roughly around same place as Tuesday night around 12. Turning to oil, as per EAS weekly report, last week oil companies used extra 12 million barrels from their inventories due to supply disruptions caused by a hurricane which in turn increases the oil price by over 1%. At the time of this video, WT crude trading at around 83.5 US dollars per barrel and Brent crude closed at around 87 US dollars per barrel. Regarding Indian ADRs, after its four days of run-up, both HDFC Bank and Wipro saw mild profit booking, so both down around 0.5%. Meanwhile, Infosys and ICIC Bank increased by 0.7% and 0.6% respectively. I mean, if you see the one-month arbitrage, then also it showed a similar trend in indicating a mixed performance. However, GIF Nifty is more inclined towards the positive side. At 3 AM New Standard Time, it closed at 24,443, which indicates the gap of opening of 40 to 60 points. So, those were the things happened in the US market. Now, let's discuss about the Indian market. I mean, in the last 2-3 videos, we have talked a lot about HDFC Bank already. So, I don't want to go over the same details again. However, I like to highlight this. If we see the Nifty's yesterday positive contribution, all the top 5 positive contributors were banking stocks, which together added 120 points out of 160 points, which Nifty increased. Whereas on the negative side, out of Nifty 50 stocks, 9 stocks closed to negative. All those 9 stocks were down marginally. Apart from Reliance and TCS, all other negative contribution was less than 4 points. Even Reliance and TCS also dropped only by 16 and 11 points respectively. This suggests there is a nervousness in both buying and selling. Neither buyer is controlling the market and nor seller is controlling. Even the FIIs are also showing mixed signals. One day they are buying heavily and one day selling heavily. I mean on Monday and Tuesday, the net sold heavily for about 2,500 crore rupees. However, yesterday they became big buyers, net bought for 5,500 crore rupees. DIA on the other hand, net sold about 920 crore rupees. 
As I said, it seems like neither FII nor DIA are also not taking any direction. So basically, everyone is nervous both buying side as well as selling side. Moving on, Moody's maintained a stable outlook and a triple B plus credit rating for L&T. So L&T stock will be on focus today. In addition, Bajaj Finance has filed their business outlook to SEBI showing a 10% increase in new loan bookings and a 31% increase in assets under management. My perspective, this business outlook is positive but it's hard to say how the market will react. So today, Bajaj Finance will also be in focus. Then finally, regarding Bharti Airtel, even though they have no competition from Paytm Payment Bank, Airtel Payment Bank's transaction numbers on the June month down by 49% compared to January. This isn't good news for Bharti Airtel, but since their revenue and profit from the payment bank is very low, so possibly market might not react strongly. Let's see. To summarize, the global momentum slightly improved last night as the US market closed positive. In line with that, GIF Nifty is indicating gap up opening of 40 to 60 points. However, while IT stocks are supporting this positive trend, banking stocks looks neutral to negative sentiment. In terms of stock open interest, Ashok Leyland, JK Cement, Ramco Cement, Titan and Hindalco showed a negative close with an increase in open interest indicating a short build up. On the flip side, Hindustan Copper, Federal Bank, Bandhan Bank and India Mart are showing the long build up positions. About the things to look out, just for info, today US Independence Day, so US market will be on holiday. Regarding macro, during market hours, various European countries such as UK, Germany and France construction pay my data is due. Then around 2.30 pm, Europe's retail sales are some of the important items we need to keep an eye out today. Coming to technical, Nifty opened a gap up of 170 points and it reached the new all-time high value 24,309 but ended slightly below 24,300. Thus on the daily chart, Nifty formed a doji candlestick pattern which suggests we might see some more consolidation. However, it continued to form higher high and higher low formation along with positive momentum indicators, both showing the overall trend is still positive. So as long as Nifty stays above 24,000, it's likely to rise and it could potentially reach 24,500. However, if it drops below 24,000, it might trigger profit booking. Turning to Bank Nifty, it opened with a significant gap up 660 points and maintained the strong momentum throughout the day, closed above 53,000 for the first time. Thus, on the daily chart, Bank Nifty formed a bullish candlestick pattern with a small upper shadow and a long lower shadow, indicating strong buying interest, especially after taking support at 10-day exponential moving average in the previous session. Furthermore, Bank Nifty also continued its strong upward trend with a higher high and higher low formation, hence the immediate support is at 52,500. Regarding the weekly options data, the maximum call option open interest was at 25,000 strike followed by 24,500 and 24,300 with maximum new call option writing at 24,300 strike and then 24,400 and 24,700. Whereas on the put side, the maximum open interest was at 24,000 strike followed by 23,800 and 23,500 with maximum new put option writing at 24,200 strike and then 24,300 and 24,000. Thus, from the options data, it indicates that 24,500 could be the next resistance level with support at 24,000. So, that's all in this video. Hope you all got some information. Please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. So, it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any investigation based on this as much as heavy ratio advisor. I am doing this for me and viewers educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.